Hey there, friends and fam. Gold Case Cause here. And we are currently on Mount Hesperus, the saddle that Ian O'Brien took up to Hesperus Peak, which is straight through here. I mean, you can't see it now, but there, straight through the trees, the peak is right there. So that means Ian was camped out just over here off 566, which is the road straight here where my truck is. He would have hiked up and had to run and go down and cross the river, remember that, cross the river, to get up to Hesperus Peak. So I have a new theory, and sorry about the wind. We're here in Aspen Forest. We're trying to stay away from the wind, stay off the mountain peaks. Uh, but <clears throat> So here's my theory. Ian made it to the top of Hesperus Peak at 6.30 p.m., and we know this because he sent a text to his girlfriend, a selfie, that he, he summited the peak. So this would have gave him two hours to get back to camp. Now, he would have been hurrying down the mountain to get back to camp before dark. Remember, he's a he was running. He wasn't hiking. He, he didn't have a ton of gear on him. He, he was traveling very light so he could run through the forest. And, you know, he's an ultra marathon runner. So uh, they travel light and they go fast through the woods. So he blazed a trail straight through here to get up to Hesperus Peak. One thing, this is what I found out, and this is my theory. He would have had to cross the West Mancus River, which is, I mean, inevitably he would have had to cross that. And what I think is... He was hurrying down the mountain at 6.30 trying to beat the dark. He would have had two hours before darkness. And I think he got to West Mancus River when either the light wasn't, uh, where it is either dark, purely dark, or uh, twilight. Um, so he would have hurried to cross the river. So when, when he did cross the river, it was the highest flow of the year in June. In the late June, we had a big winter. So that means the snow flow and the, the water gushing down the, the river would have been like rapids like so he would have had to cross the rapids to get back up this way to go home um i think possibly he could have gotten washed down the rapids on the west mancus river it's the highest flow of the year and we had a huge snow winter so i mean it would have been just blasting so he would have had to cross that river right at dark which is my theory so what we're going to do we're going to get the dogs tomorrow and we're literally going to stop start at the very beginning, the mouth of the West Dolores River up here, where it's a small trickle. And we're going to literally follow it all the way down the canyon and all the way to Mancus if we have to. And we're looking in the river to find any, we're looking for any type of trash or clothing, a backpack, sunglasses, shoes. This is all stuff he had with him. He had his transponder with him and his phone. So this is why I made this theory. His transponder and his phone both went dead near the same time. So what does that tell you? Transponders are, are made to be able to, you know, survive an avalanche. So what happened? Well, they got soaking wet is what I think happened. The phone and the transponder, when he fell in the water in the rapids, uh, it would have damaged the electronics. So uh, that's what I think happened on, on that. And that's why I think um, there's no cell phone data you know the transponder data all that's it's like they just shut off at the same time and that's what makes sense that's the only thing that i can think of naturally that would have made his equipment stop working at the same time tell me what you think you armchair detectives at home but i, I really think we're on a verge of a breakthrough i totally cleared mount hesperus on the high side at, up at tree line so now we're working our way down the mountain and uh man i feel like the good lord's pushing me to west Dolores river so what we have going for us right now, we have the dogs. These are cadaver dogs, and they are attracted to smells in the woods, uh, not to get too far into it. But uh, if there's something that's um, decomposing around, my dogs will find it, um, not to be too gory. But um, we're going to pray to the good Lord tonight, and we're going to wake up early in the morning and strap on our boots and, and really hit it hard tomorrow. Um, I really feel like we're on the verge of a breakthrough. So if you all at home could pray for me a little bit and pray for us. But I, let me tell you, I'm going to camp out here, you know, until winter if I have to. But I am going to find, you know, Brian, by God. Um, I got my heart set on it. So I'd like to bring closure to his family and his friends um, that worked so hard for him. So uh, I wanted to say thanks for watching. And uh, please stay tuned. This is only segment two. Um, tomorrow I'm going to come live from the river of us actually searching, going down through the river. And uh, it took me a little while to get up back up to the mountains here, but I'm here for this whole week. And I wanted to say God bless you all. Thanks for watching. And uh, hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. All uh, right. Um, thank you. Blessings.